2022 Honda Pioneer 1000-5 Deluxe. Here we go. Starting with the windshield, we've got the half windshield that I got off of Amazon for, I believe, $275. Overall, it's okay. Uh, it is very difficult to clasp and unclasp. Uh, where it grips, where the uh, notches come together, it's very difficult. Um, however, uh, it does provide good protection and having the ability to open it and close it is a nice feature. Uh, next thing I got for the 1005 is the Kemi Moto uh, soft cover roof with the sunroof. Very easy to install. However, uh, it's very cheaply made. I think I paid $90 for it. And when you try to install it, anywhere that has a seam that's sewn together, uh, it comes apart. So to compensate for that, I used the clasps that came with it and wrapped them around the fabric to hold it onto the frame. Uh, other than that, it seems to be okay when we're riding, it's pretty tight. Um, no flapping, no crazy noises. And when it rained here in Las Vegas, it actually kept the rain out. Uh, the sunroof is easy to use. Uh, Velcro rolling it open and closed, no problems. Um, in addition to the Kemi Moto soft cover roof, I also got these Kemi Moto uh, little baggies that go in the corners in order to put gloves, put my garage door openers, put my keys, my wallets, my uh, plugs for my iPhones and devices. I got two of them. I got both of these off of Amazon as well. I think they were like $32 each. They work really nice and they attach very easily onto the roll cage. Um, next thing I got was a mirror. Again, off of Amazon, I think it was 20 bucks. There's a variety of different styles to choose from. I chose this one because it's long and it gives me a good field of view while I'm driving. Um, the next thing I got was some side view mirrors off of Amazon. I believe these were $20. Uh, they came in a pair, uh, very easy to install with Allen wrenches, no problem there. Uh, one of the things I did right when we first got this was I painted all the letters with a regular paint pen in order to make it a little bit easier to see. At nighttime, uh, you don't really see them, but it is what it is. I also painted around the keys and I painted on the shifters on the uh, shifter paddles. The next thing I did was I got an interior light. I got it off of uh, Lowe's.com. It's just a Craftsman battery operated light and I zip tied it on. Um, it moves around very easily. So at nighttime, I can illuminate where the driver and the passengers are at. I can kick it back and illuminate the bed or the two seats that are back there and it stays in place with zip ties. Next thing I did, probably the best thing I've gotten is I got a little hula dancer for the dash. Um, we're having fun when we're driving, so we might as well have some fun visually. Next thing I got was uh, some shoulder pads for my wife because uh, she was complaining about the seat belts digging into her shoulders. Um, these off of Amazon, I think they're like five bucks. Next thing I got was some, some handles. Worst thing I ever bought, I bought a pack of four. Uh, while I was installing the first two, the snap buckles on them broke. So two of them were completely ineffective and useless, had to throw them out. Uh, but I figured out how to get the other two on without breaking the buckles. I don't trust them at all. They're more visually aesthetic uh, than anything because I don't even use them when I get in and out. Nor do I hold on to them while I'm driving, and nor does the passenger hold on to them. Uh, let's see, the next thing I did is I got this sweet side door stickers off of the vinylcreator.com. Um, he created these uh, door decals, which are actually reflective. So when you change your angle, they turn gray. They're pretty sweet looking and it gives the machine a pretty beastly look. Next thing I did is I also got uh, the vinyl creator to create me uh, some labels for the back of the machine, which came out pretty nice, easy to apply. 
Got a trailer hitch uh, for dragging our waste when we're camping and to be able to tow anything else. The next thing I got were some skid plates for the bottom of the machine, for the right and left, and also for the front. Uh, these were, I think they were 60 bucks by PBR products. Uh, very easy to install and uh, gives me a little bit of peace of mind knowing that my machine parts underneath here will be uh, protected while we're riding around. I also got from Honda Side by Side, I got some rear reverse lights that hook up uh, underneath to the adapters that are below the bed that connect to the reverse uh, mechanism. So whenever you put your device in your, uh, I'm sorry, your vehicle into reverse, they automatically turn on. Um, but I also got an override switch from Honda side by side that allows me to determine if I want it connected to the backups or whether I want it off or whether I want to manually turn the lights on. So that was a nice feature from HondaSideBySide.com uh, to be able to control the rear lights. Here's the other side uh, decal. Um, down here, you got the front protectors. Very easy to install. Um, the next thing I got was a winch. Uh, the winch I got was from Walmart. Uh, it was a hyper tough 5,500 pound winch. Uh, very easy to install. Uh, came with all the wires you needed and all the connections to make it work. Uh, all you do is remove your bumper, throw some bolts on, and uh, it connects. I did have to order a plate off of Amazon. I'm sorry, excuse me, off of eBay for the winch to fit onto the Honda Pioneer. But if you go on eBay and you type in 2022 Honda Pioneer winch adapter plate, it comes right up and I believe it was like 40 bucks. I was able to install it myself by just using a wrench and very simple, very easy electronically to hook up. Um, I also ordered one of these, uh, I don't even know what this is called, but it keeps the cable off of the bumper. I ordered a fair lead off of Amazon. I think it was like 15 bucks and it connects directly on to your bumper. Make sure you order the six inch uh, fair lead so that way the screw holes line up perfectly and the winch just goes right in there. Underneath the hood, uh, I did all the wiring myself and I by no, by no means know what I'm doing. I just YouTubed everything and figured it all out. Right now, I do have some loose wires here because I'm waiting on Honda Side by Side to have their keyed power adapters arrive so I can hook these wires up to the keyed power so I can only access my uh, winch and my rear lights uh, through when the, when the power is on, when the key is on. If I hook them up now, I could inadvertently uh, turn on my rear lights or turn on my winch and that could wear my battery and that could make a bad day uh, for the vehicle. So I'm waiting for that to happen. It should be arriving here shortly. Um, but other than that, everything else that's here uh, is stuff that I install. Right here is the, I don't even know what that's called, but it came with the winch and it allows you to hook your winch up to your batteries. Uh, everything came with the winch for that. And it's very simple to follow, red to red, black to back, black. Um, I ordered an extra Odyssey Extreme battery. It's the not PC925 or the AGM28L off of Amazon. It was pretty pricey, it was like 200 bucks. I know there's other options out there. I went with this one. It comes with all the wires you need. Uh, last thing I ordered was the True uh, isolator, which allows you to connect the first battery to the second battery. Um, and you really have to figure out how to wire everything, um, to make it flow and, and be correct. 
Um, and then finally, the most important piece of the puzzle was the front LED bumper light. I looked all over YouTube and I could not find anything for the 2022 Honda Pioneer LED light bar for the bumper because the bumper for the 2022 changed and it no, long, it no longer has a bar that you can clamp your light onto. So I had to figure out a way to make that happen. So what I did was I ordered the light from hondasidebyside.com. They sent me the light. It easily hooks up to your um, headlight connector so you can control your high beams right off of your basic on high beams selector that's already pre-installed. So when a vehicle is on, I have it on regular lights and I want the light bar to come on, I just hit that. No extra things uh, added. The only other one that I did add was this wench uh, in order to control the wench, but again, I'm waiting for the key on to arrive. But how did I hook up? How did I hook up the LED light bar? Very simple. The grabbers can't click onto here. I ordered these little, uh, where are they at? I ordered these things to see if there was any way I could mount, I can mount uh, the light to the bar over here. And man, it was just a shit show. Uh, it just wasn't working. So I was like, man, how can I make this more simple? There's so many screws in here to come loose. Uh, that seems like a problem waiting to happen. So what can I do to find a solution? So I went to Lowe's and Lowe's had these L bracket, L shaped brackets that look a lot like this. Went to Lowe's, picked these up and all I did was drill the holes on here to be the same size as the screw posts going through my fair lead. And then I simply put the bracket in there in between the frame and the fair lead. And then I connected the light bar to the top, uh oh, to the top of the bracket. And voila, LED bar connected to the front of the 2022 Honda Pioneer. So that's my Honda Pioneer in a nutshell. Covered the windshield, the roof, the under uh, protectors, the winch, the LED bar, the different uh, buttons on the inside. Some of the uh, stickers for the outside, the interior lights. Uh, it's been great. It's been fun. I can't wait to continue to do more upgrades and enjoy this thing. This thing is so much fun to ride, so much fun to drive. I love it. If you don't have a Honda Pioneer, I would certainly encourage you to go out and get one because they are so much fun. Until again, we'll talk to you later.